Sandy Charles with FanRag Sports, joined by Chris Schubert, also with FanRag Sports, recapping an ASU victory over the UCLA Bruins, 23-20. to Chris, what did we see out there tonight? We saw two teams get off to a really slow start, only six combined points in the first half. We saw Brady White make his debut for Arizona State, his first collegiate start, and it was very sluggish. The team only had 64 yards of total offense in the first half. They didn't convert at all on third down, 0 of 8 in the first half, and they couldn't get anything going offensively. The second half was a totally different story. We saw both teams get more towards the Pac-12 style of offense that we're so used to seeing. Uh, Josh Rosen, who left in the first half with an injury, came back. He got the team rolling with some points. Brady White did the same as well. A Zane Gonzalez field goal late in the game put the team up 10 points, 23-20. Uh, Zane set a record tonight, his 89th field goal. Uh, he's an all-time leader in field goals made by an NCAA kicker. That put them up 10 points, and they were able to hold off a late rush by UCLA, even after losing Brady White to injury, and they sealed the victory to put themselves in a tie for first in the Pac-12 South. Now, it, it didn't look good when Brady went down. Do we expect, do we know if he'll be back? Uh, Coach Graham said in his post-game uh, press conference that uh, he knew what was, uh, was going on with Brady. He didn't want to share it yet. He wanted to confirm it, uh, but that it didn't look good. And if you need any more explanation, he did bring in Dill Dilling Sterling Cole, uh, burned his red shirt to bring him onto the field late in the game. So that's kind of how severe it is. Let's talk a little about, about ASU's defense. Uh, Coach Graham said he's really proud of them. What did we, we've been really hard on the ASU defense yes. this, this year, and tonight was kind of a different story. They got off to a really good start. They pressured Rosen a lot in the first half, got him moving outside of the pocket, and what that was able to do was they were able to collapse on him. They sacked him a bunch. That's what got him hurt. His, his right leg was bothering him, or his right knee. And then when he was able to come back in the second half, they continued that pressure. They sacked him on the, near, on the far side over there, and that took him out of the game uh, for the remainder of the game. They did a really nice job in their secondary. They gave up some big plays early, but they made the adjustments that they needed to make in the second half. They got a couple of big turnovers. I think they were plus three in the second half, and that really changed the momentum because while they were leading, they never trailed in the game. Right. They struggled to put up points, and a couple of those big turnovers, they had one within the first two minutes of the second half, and then they had another one late that really changed the momentum. They had their offense going. They had a short field, and they were able to put points on the board. Now what's up next for ASU? Well, they have a really tough test. They now go back <laughs> on the road and they're going to face that team that they're in a tie with, Colorado, in Colorado. Uh, it was going to be a difficult test regardless, but now we don't know who's going to play quarterback. The hope is Manny Wilkins can come back. Brady's injury does seem kind of severe. They do have Cole. They threw him in there tonight. Graham said he wanted to see what he was made of. So it's either going to be Cole or Manny because they don't think Brady White's going to be playing anytime soon. Are people starting to believe in that ASU, that Sun Devil second half magic? <laughs> you know, I don't know what it is. I, they, we asked Graham about that afterwards, and he just said that you know he was really proud of his players because they've just done what they've needed to do. As he said, they've just won ball games. Uh, I don't know if there's something specific that you can put on it, but they're just doing something differently. They're making the adjustments they need to make, and I think Graham said that there wasn't a lot of chaos tonight yeah. that they're used to having. There used to be a lot of second half chaos where there's a lot of stuff going on, and they really have to hunker down and poise themselves. There wasn't that tonight. They were able to just play their game, and they did a really nice job in the second half, getting the distance they needed. They got the points on the board, and they played really good defense late in the game. Thank you so much. For Chris Schubert, I'm Sandy Charles. Keep it at FanRagSports.com.